Well, questions about voter fraud lasted for months following last November's general election. Not that any of those accusations were directed toward Idaho, but even you, our viewers, wondered what county clerks were doing to prevent any sort of fraud. Major part of keeping records straight and making sure only eligible voters get to vote is keeping a list of those eligible voters. It's called the voter roll. So here we are months after the election. We wanted to circle back to that process as county clerks across the state are wrapping up what they do to remove thousands and thousands of people from that voter roll. Yes, thousands and thousands of people removed. Why so many? Ada County Clerk Phil McGrain explains it all to Joe Paris. For those people who have not voted in the last four years, uh, we go through and clean up the voter rolls by removing all of those inactive voters from the rolls. Ada County Clerk Phil McGrain and his election team have been busy sending out thousands of postcards to people who haven't voted in the last four years. Yesterday, we mailed out postcards to just shy of 18,000 voters who haven't voted in the past four years here in Ada County to let them know that they're being removed and to let them know how they can re-register at IdahoVotes.gov or at the polls on election day if they still want to be remain active in terms of the voter rolls. County clerks across Idaho don't just do this for good bookkeeping. It's Idaho law. Title 34, uh, section 435 requires that all of the county clerks after each general election go through and do this cleanup. So every two years we do a similar cleanup. This is really the final step in the cleanup that we do to maintain the integrity of the rolls. McGrain explains that it isn't just one big lift every two years. Election teams are constantly monitoring things like vital statistics to keep voter rolls updated to help prevent fraud. We're keeping it current because as you know, we're one of the fastest growing states in the nation. And so we have a lot of people moving in and we also have a lot of people moving out. So it's an active process to keep the rolls clean. So generally, who are these people being removed? Is there a common thread? Really, the bulk of these people are most typically people who have voted in the past and have since then moved somewhere else and likely re-registered someplace else. They just didn't list their past registration when they moved to another state or didn't notify us about the move. Specifically in Ada County, McGrain says a trend they see is linked to Boise State students who voted a few years back and then moved to a new place after graduation. Our experience has been that the bulk of the mailings that we even sent out will just get back as non-deliverable uh, because, in fact, these are people who've moved away since. In Idaho, this is not a new practice. This was actually established in Idaho in 1970. Um, so it's been around for quite a while. This isn't something new. So, it, you know, I hear a lot in the national uh, narrative talking about these things. This is something we've been doing for a long time. Uh, and really it is to make sure that we have active names and there aren't inactive people. And it's an effort to prevent voter fraud, as well as just make sure that administration of the elections runs smoothly. Having accurate voter rolls makes investigations into fraud, especially over state lines, a lot easier to identify. We want to make sure everyone has confidence that not only their vote counted, but that it was the only the people who should be voting were the ones that were voting when we went to the polls. Okay, Joe, so all this moving in and out of Idaho, did this lead to any sort of voter fraud after the last general election? Well, as you mentioned, Brian, there's no evidence of large spread voter fraud here in Idaho or across the country, but it does happen a few times during each election cycle generally. For example, the Ada County uh, Election Office, they're actually looking into two possible cases of someone voting in Idaho as well as in California and Alaska. That's under investigation right now, but having these voter rolls, Brian, makes everything a little easier to really take a look at. States can compare the voter rolls and they can decide, is this the same person or not? Is this possibly just the same name? So having the comprehensive data, especially electronically, makes these investigations a lot easier. And the fact that they caught these two people, or at least found out about these two people, helps shows that there are safeguards in place and they do work. All right, thank you very much, Joe.